We have the market opening, so just had to focus on that very briefly and then we'll head back to you. Uh, for now, the first tick on the index is very quiet, absolutely flat. The mid caps as well not doing too much. The bank nifty is down about 50 odd points, so just consolidating. Uh, and it's not a bad outcome given that we have higher crude prices. The market is holding up uh, at that 19,570 mark. So looks like the bullish trend is something that uh, does continue. ONGC, Sipla, Power Grid, Hero Motor Corp, Ultratech Cement are some of your big gainers in trade today. Um, I mean, by big, I mean around half a percent to one percent rally at the max is what you're seeing. ITC, Wipro, Wipro, by the way, fresh 52 week high over there. So keep an eye out on that. HCL Tech is also at a fresh 52 week high. What's dragging the markets today is Asian Paints, Hindalco, Nestle, Bajaj Finance, and some of the banks. Indus and ICICI Bank under a bit of pressure, down about half a percent to about one percent on some of these names. So suffice to say that, uh, by the way, the market breadth is quite strong at 1900 stocks on the advancing side and lots of stocks in the broader markets, whether it's something like a Dish TV, Sri Renuka, uh, you know, NBCC has seen that order win, so looking pretty good over there. Uh, those are all in the news, but otherwise, the market for now is very quiet. It's the IT index that that is once again outperforming. The Nifty IT index is at a fresh 52-week high. The Pharma index is also doing well, up almost three-tenths of a percent. And there are plenty of stocks that are hitting a fresh highs. Nazara Tech, once again, is up about two-odd percent, so keep an eye out on that. Bharat Forge is at a fresh 52-week high, strong order wins there. Uh, North American truck orders, that is. PBR Inox is at a fresh 52-week high. Oberoi Realty as well. Uh, so lots of stocks, but otherwise the market is just consolidating, which is not a bad thing given the kind of cues we had. Well, that's right, Sonia. NBCC, just take a look at that stock. It's up close to around 6%. You know, the management had joined us last week and they gave us a sneak peek that they're expecting a large order. That's come through. They've backed a project worth 2,000 crores from the Kerala State uh, Housing Board. So that one's up and about in today's trading session. Voltas, big underperformer, losing market share. They have been losing uh, out on margins as well. Well, now they're talking up the market. And Motilal Oswal as well came out of the note. They're pretty positive uh, on the stock. So they're looking to regain that lost market share. The stock is up close to around 2.5%. The oil-related plays as well are playing out. You have Oil India that's up close to around 2%. And on the flip side, some of these uh, you know, crude-linked uh, companies on the negative side, painting, paint companies, for example, Asian Paint, Sonia mentioned, Berger Paints is down close to around a percent. Apollo Tires as well as down closer around a percent and a half. So both of them taking a bit of a knock in today's uh, trading session. Vedanta, some relief coming in for Vedanta Resources. Maybe they can take care of themselves. Vedanta Limited shareholders will be happy if that's the case because otherwise all the cash in the books has been basically moving back to Vedanta Resources to take care of the debt ob obligations. A couple of other notable movers from the broader markets are on high volumes. You have Sri Renuka that's up close to 4%. JM Financial as well as higher. And IDBI Bank as well is moving up. On the flip side, finally, IRFC is seeing some profit taking. It's down close to around 4% as we speak, as is the case with RBNL. Prashant. Uh, okay, well, uh, yeah, I mean, there's a fair bit happening. And, uh, you know, true to form, the market's kind of holding on without too much trouble, right? I mean, uh, green on the screen, 19,500, 19, almost 19,600 now uh, is uh, what we have. So just the beginning, uh, we'll see how things go. Uh, and I, I must say it's a quieter start as compared to the last couple of days. Uh, you know, the broader market would start uh, jumping up, uh, uh, mostly up, not down. Uh, but uh, this morning, it's a, it's, it's a slightly more, uh, mm. sort of more subdued kind of start. Uh, Volume-led gainers are, uh, yeah, I mean, there are a few and I'll highlight them. Uh, but it's not as if you've got uh, lots and lots of names which are uh, going uh, up and down. NBCC, Vedanta... I think you've got uh, MMTC. MMTC has uh, had a fantastic three, four days. Voltas is up about 2.5%. Uh, I think there was a broker, brokerage call. GMR Power has been doing well last four or five days. IDBI has been doing very well. That's coming up with gains. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I mean, some sugar names coming up as well. I mean, actually, day before yesterday, sugar stocks all rallied significantly. Uh, and uh, I can spot Renuka at least. Geo Financial Services is down, I think, about two and uh, three quarters of a percent or so. Uh, at uh, this point in time. Sonia. Yeah, uh, just yeah. a couple of more stocks actually yeah. you were mentioning, Voltas. By the way, Torrent Pharma has also continues to inch higher on the back of that, uh, you know, impending acquisition of Sipla. Uh, so Torrent Pharma in the green. Uh, you have a couple of more names that I'm looking at this morning. Um, there's, of course, uh, l &T Tech from the mid-cap IT space. By the way, IT is really surging now. Uh, so big moves there. TCS is up uh, in the green. HCL Tech is at a fresh 52-week high. LTI, Mindtree. So, you know, this space has really come back in a big way. Wipro as well. 
and that's the space to be in. You know, the market texture is telling you that it's a buy on dips market and this market wants to go up. Imagine having crude oil prices moving up to $90, the dollar index at the highest level in multiple months, US bond deals higher, and still the markets are flat. I'll tell you what, the bulls will take that at least for now, provided we don't see a sharp drawdown from here. Holding steady as we speak, Prashant. They don't know bears, Nigel. It's all bulls. <laughs> <laughs> I think we, we, do, we don't need to differentiate. We just say, I mean, this is incredible, right? The strength has been, uh, mm. uh, it's just uh, quite something. So 1,400 higher and 450 stocks lower. And, uh, you know, uh, I've been jokingly saying uh, a half a percent and a small cap compounding. I think uh, that's become 1% da <laughs> daily compounding. We're not saying annual compounding or monthly or quarterly, daily. So that's essentially how strong the broader market has been. Uh, so not very far from the truth, actually. We're up about 0.4% once again on the small cap index. I mean, actually, this week from Friday's start, we are up 2.5% of the small cap after last week's 4.5% gain. So, you know, in basically, what, uh, three sessions? Uh, sorry, se uh, uh, eight sessions, seven and a half sessions, the small cap index, right, uh, has uh, returned, what, uh, almost 7% uh, or so. So that is basically uh, the market that uh, one is uh, looking at.